Okay, so this is the second video of the constructing a research paper, everyone. So uh, please look at uh, where and how do we begin, okay, yeah, for the constructing a research paper, okay. So uh, first you need to actually choose a subject. Choose a subject that interests you, but uh, from which you can still learn much, yeah. Not too broad. Make sure that uh, the topic is not too broad. If it is too broad, it is difficult for you to actually uh, look for the specific information, okay? Yeah. And not too difficult. If it is too difficult, it's beyond your knowledge, beyond your expertise, which, uh, uh, you know, uh, you cannot actually do it well. One for which you can find materials from popular magazines or books aimed at general reading. And that has come interest to the uh, every reader, <coughs> okay? So make sure that uh, what you are doing is actually interesting to the uh, to the readers in general, not only uh, some particular reader, okay? Yeah. So this is uh, what you uh, need to do uh, for choosing a subject for the research paper, okay? Yeah. And then the, you need to actually look at here, uh, gathering materials, observation or experience. Yeah, you need to actually uh, gather, gather your knowledge, gather your, your materials. Yeah, and then you need to actually prepare the interview, uh, for example, and then you need to actually go to the library to see what it has, and then special bulletins and reports, yeah? You need to actually have some like notes, yeah. You need to actually have a bulletin board to make notes or whatever. But sometimes the timeline you need to actually write on the bulletin board to remind you, okay? Yeah. Uh, common types of uh, of uh, outline, yeah. Make make a preliminary outline, yeah. So, yeah, main idea, yeah. And then you have uh, subsidiary idea or supporting idea. To one, yeah. And B subsidiary subsidiary uh, subsidiary idea mean mean the the, the sub main idea here, okay? Sub main idea, everyone, yeah. Sub main idea or supporting idea to one, yeah. And number two main idea, and then sub uh, supporting idea, yeah. Look at that, okay? And then main idea, yeah. So you need to actually have the outline and then the, like a brainstorm like this, okay? And you have some ideas of the topic <coughs> in which you will be needing information. Uh, begin your reading with a few general articles which give an overall survey. Try to anticipate the important questions your paper will have to answer. Jot down what seem to be in the major division of the of the subject, okay, over here. Yeah. So this is uh, what you need to actually look at that, okay? Yeah. Well, it is important here to look at quoting. Okay, quoting means to repeat, but another source, a uh, word for word using quotation mark. You need to have, uh, you need to actually uh, uh, quote. It means you actually repeat the source from, uh, you know, uh, from other places, and then you need to actually use the quotation mark. Okay, this is the quotation mark. Yeah. Key to. Uh, parenthetical uh, citation, keep quote short, give only information needed to clarify, uh, to identify the source on your words uh, cited page. You don't need to cite information that is uh, a common knowledge. Common knowledge like uh, uh, they say uh, Phnom Penh is the capital of Cambodia. So here, <laughs> even though you say this again, it is not plagiarism because this is the common knowledge, okay? Uh, for example, you say uh, the sun rises in the east. So this is not a plagiarism because this is just a common knowledge, okay? Yeah. Make it easier, yeah, for your reader, okay? Yeah. So this is, uh, okay, uh, when to quote the author, <coughs> okay? To show that an authority support your point, yeah. To present a position of the argument, 
to include especially moving or historically uh, significant language and uh, to present a particular well-stage passage whose meaning would be lost or changed if a part of phrase or summarized. Okay? In research papers, you should quote from a uh, source. Yeah. So how do I quote uh, an author? Okay. Yeah. So this is important to look at here. Okay. Well, now we look at plagiarism. Okay. Be original, don't be, don't plagiarize. Okay. So look at plagiarism. One, if you just passing of someone else's work as your own, whether we do this uh, deliberately or not. Okay. Yeah, for example, you just copy and and uh, and paste here without any citation or quotation. This is plagiarism. Not acknowledging when using information, data, table, figure, or graphic from the their writers. Yeah. Three, inadequately uh, paraphrasing source. So sometimes you paraphrase, but then not enough. So this is also plagiarism. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, paraphrase, yeah, paraphrase. Plagiarism, the act of presenting another's work or ideas as your own, yeah. So, I've just stolen other author's work, so this is, uh, he is the plagiarizer, okay, yeah, plagiarizer, yeah. Okay, plagiarism and uh, paraphrasing. Non plagiarized paraphrase. Mount Fuji, the highest mountain in Japan, is actually dominant, uh, the, okay, dormant uh, volcano. Dormant means that this is not active. Yeah, dormant means not active. The last time Mount Fuji erupted was in 1707, and there is always the possibility of a future eruption. Okay, yeah. <coughs> so this is. This is an example of the non-plagiarized part of phrase. Okay. Yeah, look at here. Direct quote from the research. Yeah. And this is non-plagiarized part of phrase. Yeah. Please uh, check it by yourself, everyone. Yeah, look at here. Yeah. yeah. Three weeks after Karina warnings of the arrival of Hurricane Rita, some residents of the site, such as Houston, Texas, blah blah blah, yeah, j uh, jam roads. But for the paraphrase, shortly after hurricane, uh, Katrina dev uh, devastated the city of Houston, Texas. A warning for new hurricane named Rita was broadcast, which caused many people to panic and flee the city. However, the mass departure of people leaving Houston at the same time could have uh, caused many car accidents, even though the hurricane turned out to be not as dangerous as uh, Katrina, okay? Yeah, this is how they paraphrase. So when you paraphrase, you actually keep the meaning, but you use your own words, okay? This is paraphrase. Okay, now we look at, <coughs> sorry. We look at uh, writing a uh, bibliography, okay? Again, bibliography, it's like you write the uh, references, okay? References, okay. So, bibliography is the list of the sources used to get information for your report. <coughs> As a rule of academic writing, students need to admit the truth when uh, they use other people's ideas, views, data, information, written materials, Although visual resources, uh, when you use a direct quotation or a copy uh, section, follow side the source and know bibliography through secret. It intends to tell reader about accuracy, value, and relevancy of the sources that you are cited. Okay, that's uh, cited. Okay. So uh, can you now look at here? Yeah, for the for the bibliography or references here, you have two styles. Okay, we mentioned here one is MLA format and one is APA format. But uh, mostly everyone and uh, in academic writing fields, usually we use APA style. 
like uh, the way that you write and I I write the reference I use APA style and you send to me I see that you use APA style okay can you compare the style okay compare the style so for the MLA style uh, you have also last name, first name, book, title, additional information, city of the uh, publication, publishing company, and uh, publishing date. Yeah, look at it. Alan Thomas B. Washington, okay, uh, vanishing uh, wildlife of the North America. So this is the title, Washington, D.C. This is the place. National Geographic Society, 19... 74 so the date is at the end but for APA the author name yeah Alan T yeah so then you actually just use T everyone yeah the shortcut okay yeah the shortcut one yeah uh, 1974 this is uh, this is the publishing date yeah and then the title yeah the title and uh, the CT yeah the CT yeah look at here okay yeah or oh, and then the company yeah national geography society if you take from oxford you put oxford yeah oxford university press something like that okay yeah can you now uh, look at uh, below here yeah so i encourage you guys to use apa style okay apa style okay so yeah this is one more yeah this is one more yeah please uh, check it yeah so this is uh, encyclopedia and dictionary. Yeah. Also last name. Yeah. For a for M L A style. La, also last name, first name, title of article, title of uh, encyclopedia date. Yeah. Yeah. So also name last name is uh, Tobias Richard. Yeah. The the first name. Uh, Suba James. Yeah. Title. Yeah. And then uh, Encyclopedia Americana, yeah, this is the title, yeah, of the Encyclopedia, and then the date. But uh, for uh, for APA style, yeah, APA style, everyone, yeah, uh, TBS or okay, or yeah, over here, yeah. So or is uh, the first name actually from uh, Richard, okay, yeah, nineteen ninety four, yeah. So uh, you use the last name, everyone, uh, the last name or the surname in full. But uh, for the first name, you just use the initial, okay? Yeah, the first initial. 1991, this is uh, the, the date. And then the title. Yeah, and uh, you can use uh, P here, page, page 600, okay? Yeah. And New York, yeah, this is uh, the name of the city, yeah. Okay? Uh, here the name of the encyclopedia okay name of the source okay name of the source okay uh, okay can can you now just uh, look at below here okay by yourself okay let's continue here yeah so this is this is the end and this is the references yeah look at the references which I actually uh, used to to actually compile this file for you so uh, Glasso, yeah, because I use APA style, everyone, okay? I use APA style. You look at a glass, Glasso, comma, J, yeah. So Glasso is the last name, the surname, and J is the first initial of the first name, 2014. So this is the date. How to write a research paper. This is uh, the title, and this is the website, okay? The website. And Swale. J um and Fig C B two thousand and twelve and then the title because this is the book so you just use like this okay yeah okay so this is the end of the slide for today thank you for your attention and uh, I will uh, wrap up everything by next week on the twenty first and then you can actually finish your last research paper uh, last assignment okay thank you everyone see you later.